My Octopus Energy Cozy 6 has an issue. The cop rate of it is extremely low, but luckily not anymore. This video, we're gonna be talking about what Octopus noticed in my data to ring me after two weeks of my install to say that I needed to make some changes to the way my Cozy 6 was behaving. One of them was actually my fault, and the other one is something that Octopus said that they can do to dramatically improve the issue of my Cozy 6. And it's a specific issue to me, but maybe to you as well, if you're getting a Cozy 6 installed. So stick around for this video to find out what they did. So my first issue is something that a lot of you are probably going to do, which is you have the setting to change down the flow rate temperature of your heat pump. And as we all know, lower is better, lower is more efficient. Oh no, 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 it's not. I set mine for a 30 C flow temperature in warm weather. That's 30 C temperature, sorry, not flow, flow rate, but flow temperature of 30 C for, for warm weather and for cold weather, I set that as 35 C. Now you'd assume that the lower you go, the better it is, but it's really not. By setting it too low, you cause two problems. You cause your heat pump not to work in its efficiency range. So mine's a six kilowatt heat pump. It can modulate down fairly far, but in warm weather or, you know, tempered weather, it's going to struggle to get to really low modulation. So my house heat loss was deemed during the survey of around about four kilowatts, but it's actually much lower than that. The MCS survey just basically didn't justify how little my home loses in heat because it's a fairly modern built home, which means that the Cozy 6 is struggling to modulate down to those lower rates when running it at 30C, meaning it's not getting that performance of COP. Now, by running it at a higher temperature, it means that the Cozy 6 isn't running for as long and therefore is more efficient. It's working in its peak efficiency zone of where it wants to be. So if you are thinking that setting it low is better, make sure you try gradually bringing it down and then you can see how the cop of it goes up and down over some sort of data. Now if you've got a Cozy 6, Octopus should be able to tell you this by the data. If you're using third party uh, software like energy monitoring software, that should be able to tell you where the sort of peak performance is between these two things. But don't just assume that lower is better. Sometimes having it slightly hotter and running for shorter periods can actually drive up efficiency. Now one suggestion Octopus had was me increase the temperature I set this warm and cold weather flow temperature to within the Cozy settings. Now we'll get round to some suggestions around that in a minute, but another thing that they wanted to try was nothing to do with this. They thought it was a combination of two reasons why my cot wasn't working and they could see that in their data points that they were getting back at their office from the Cozy sensors. So we'll get to that in a minute, but why is there another issue? Well, first of all, I have microball. Now, anyone who's told you that Octopus do not install a microball, they do. Anyone who's told you they don't install a microball on a Cozy 6, they do. I have microball. So I have plastic microball in my house, but I also have a very long pipe run to the Cozy 6. And that long pipe run plus the microball is causing problems for the Cozy 6's pump, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, let's talk about two sensational things I want to mention that Octopus noticed about this heat pump. Firstly, Octopus's real-time monitoring of the Cozy 6 means that they can spot and fix issues in real time. They can spot if your Cozy 6 is not behaving or is faulty or defective, or you've just messed around with the settings in the wrong way, or there's something not right with your install, they can spot that in real time. They've got loads of sensors internally on the Cozy 6. It's just absolutely crammed full of temperature probes everywhere in that system. And because of this, they can feed this real-time data and notice problems like mine real time. They also, the other thing surprising that no, I notice is that if your system's commissioned at 50C, don't assume that you can just put it down as low as you want and then assume it's going to be more efficient. You need to edge it down from 50 very slowly and see where that efficiency drop off is. The one thing that does annoy me is Octopus do allow you to change the flow temperature. Now, some may argue that being allowed to change the flow temperature is something that you should be allowed control of. And I, yes, I agree, you should be allowed some control of it. But Octopus don't provide you any data over the flow return temperature or the flow out temperature or any of the other cozy sensitive data they can see it but you can't as a customer and i think octopus you really i know you're watching this so give us the data either put it in the app or put it in the api or better yet don't give us any of the data and have a button that says let octopus decide my flow temperature and then let you optimize it with machine learning and all the cracking system that you've got maybe even have two options be the greenest get the best cop and 
get me the best price per kilowatt hour. So if you have flexibility demand for basically a power hour or some other sort of incentive, you can modulate that and return that to the customer. That's what we want to see as customers. We want it simplified and maybe give us that level of control because that's what I prefer rather than picking my own temperature absolutely blindly. Now, as I had the long run and the microball system, they had to make some alterations to the physical hardware of my system. Now, they came and changed this volumizer tank. So this is set up originally as a volumizer. The volumizer was basically to add extra volume of water because of the microball pipes and basically because I've got a, not a relatively large house to give extra volume of water to the system so the heat pump can use that water to defrost itself during a defrost cycle. Now, unfortunately, the volumizer plus the, plus the small rads plus the long run, long run were basically meaning that I couldn't get the amount of water pressure that water flow through the long run plus the microball because the cozy six pump was struggling to push it that far and also through such a narrow gap of the microball so they had to come up and make some alterations to the volumizer so what they've basically done is turn this volumizer into a multi-split system so essentially they've they've turned it into a low loss header or a buffer tank or a multi-split or a hydro split there's loads of different terms for what people call this but essentially it's a hydro split now what that basically means is they've instead of going from the top to the bottom using it as a volumizer we now have a tee off on the right hand side and a tee off on the left hand side that go to the heat pump so the heat pump does a circle of water through this and on this side we have a tap off here at the top and a tap off here at the bottom and that then goes to a pump now there's a pump here just behind me that basically pumps the water then around my system so this basically has a container of hot water and it basically has the water going round from the heat pump and round from the central heating system and that central heating system then has a boost pump basically to push that water further around my system so the cozy six can modulate lower doesn't have to work it doesn't have to work trying to push through the entire long run plus the microball it can just carry on doing its normal operation it means it can modulate more it means it can work within its efficiency range better and then the pump for the house pump all the water around the radiators now some people would argue that a buffer tank being a buffer tank is less efficient but in some terms it is needed and in my system they tried it with the cozy six originally just doing it like that but the long run plus the microball system did mean that i did have to fit this hydro split system to get the efficiency better so the big question is did this hydro split improve the cop on my system has the cop improved since well first of all lowering the temperature flow rate that did instantly improve the cop but it was still extremely low since they put the hydro split in it is massively improved now there's other things that you can do to improve your cop which is also lowering the tank temperature now at the moment i've got a little one taking baths i've got a newborn baby that's case in having a little tiny bath yes but we know we've seen him clean bath water we bath the little one in bath water as well and i'm having a shower and at the moment the wife is still using the electric shower in the ensuite which i do plan to plan to switch to this tank system octopus did leave me a spare off to do exactly that so what is the cot rating well i will publish these rates i publish them every single week on what the cot rate is to my members so if you're a member you'll already know about this but until i've got more data from the winter they've not had enough cold weather yet we're still very very early on in the year it's not even halloween as i record this it's through two weeks before halloween you'll see this after halloween i know but the point is we're too early to sort of say the cot rating soon as it's out i will publish it to everyone in a proper video but if you remember you'll already see it if you want to learn more about the cozy six then check out this video here and if you want to see the members video about the cozy six then check out this video here